welcome to HKB. I'm Shaz. I'm Leon. We hope you enjoy today's episode. Yes, thank you for watching and today is a little bit different. We're going to have a little look at a couple of martial art films starring Anthony Wong. Right, so first up we have Ip Man Final Fight and we're going to give you our thoughts and a little discussion on the film and then after that we will move swiftly on to House of Fury. So, Ip Man Final Fight 2013. As you may know already if you've watched um, some of our earlier videos we're big fans of Kung Fu movies and we're also big fans of Wing Chun Kung Fu movies mm -hmm. a la our Prodigal Son Warriors 2 review. We're also huge fans of Anthony Wong as regular viewers will know. So we got a nice little mix here Anthony Wong playing Ip Man in a Kung mm -hmm. Fu movie doing Wing Chun. What did you think of his performance? Not just acting, but martial arts. I thought he was really good. Yeah? Yeah, I was um, pleasantly surprised. Um, I think it, it's a film that shows how good an actor he is, you know, mm -hmm. for acting and also for the martial arts side of things. I did particularly enjoy his fight with Eric Tang. Yes. That was definitely edge of your seat stuff. <laughs> we had this one on for the senior consultant, mum, and she was quite literally on the edge of her seat, very gripped and uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Nice story in this one. It's it man in his older years. Uh, it's when he comes over to Hong Kong. Um, it's, he's, he's has a relationship with his wife, obviously, which, is coming to an end because his wife in this film dies. That's no spoiler, that's, you know, historical mm. what happened. And it's about that transition in his life, um, his, his martial arts school in Hong Kong, his pupils, and there is another lady that comes into his life. Um, they don't sort of go too deep into that to, you know spell out for you how deep that relationship was it just is nicely told in the story i, I feel mm. i felt like mm. all the supporting actors in this were really good yeah um like you said eric tang um with his, his fighting and his acting very mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. we had a, a nice role from georgian chan in this i thought you know bit different to his young and dangerous roles playing a triad fuck yeah, he's playing mm -hmm. a cop in this but you know, he's still on a bit on the dark side of the law because he's, you know, mm. doing some dealings within the walled city, Calvin Walled City. So that, that segment of the film I, I like quite a lot there. And the, the scarred villain of the piece, a lot of people remember from films like Martial Arts of Shaolin, Not Some Time in China, Tiger on the Beat. You know, he's a familiar face. Um, we've got, oh, Anita Yuen. She plays Anthony Wong's wife in this yes. one, you yeah. know, while she's in it. Uh, we have Sammo Hong Sung, Timmy Hung, he has a role in this, so it's nice to see him as well. And um, we have Ken Lo as well, he was doing his usual, being a, you know, a thug. He was, um, he's always good, you know, I like seeing Ken Lo do his moves, he always mm. adds uh, an hour of menace to whatever film he's in, mm. really like him. Um, did, did you have any standouts besides Anthony Wong in this? No, I think they like, say they're really good supporting mm -hmm. actors. I don't think anyone in particular really stood out. No, there was a cut. Yeah, there was a couple of good. Like you had Gillian Chung in there. She had a, a nice little role. Again, nothing too stand out. Mm -hmm. The the sort of showgirl singer. Um, I think she called Sal Jiao Chu Chu. Um, she was very good. She yes, she was good. Yeah, I, I liked yeah. I liked her. You know. She had like mm. a pretty and glamorous look, but it also, you know, there was depth to her character. Yeah, which yeah, I like. Yeah, and and the way the whole that relationship was handled and how the students were jealous of it. Yeah. I thought this was a really good it man film. Mm. Uh, the martial arts for me too, um, really grounded. Yeah, some proper yeah. Wing Chun in there. Uh, I know not so many people rate this one, and um, mm. we might do a video later on 
rating all the Ip-Man movies, um, you know, in, in order. And this one might be surprisingly high up the list for me. Um, mm. I'm not sure about you, but I really enjoy this one. Yeah, I did. I liked the, the fact that it, the martial arts were so good mm -hmm. and the drama, the story was so good as well. Yes. I felt it really gelled together well. Mm. And there's a lot of atmosphere too, especially yeah. with the, the fight in the sort of hurricane or the typhoon yes. at the end. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, do you want to leave the scoring out to, to the end and we'll move swiftly on to the next film, House of Fury? Yep, yeah, sure. Yeah. Right, great. So, we have House of Fury, which was 2005, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And this is a, a fun little film, directed by Stephen Fung, who a lot of people might remember from films like Gen X Cops, Gen Y Cops. And um, he's the son, he directs the film, but he also plays the son of Anthony Wong, and Gillian Chung plays the daughter. And they're both a little bit embarrassed by the dad. The mum's no longer around. She's died. They established that early on. Yeah. And the dad's around the school telling stories about how he's a secret agent. And they just really, really embarrassed. Mm. And there's a couple of love interests in, in the film for the for the children. Um, Charlene Choi, who... Yeah. Very, very young baby face. She's yeah. like a love interest for Stephen Fung. And one of your favourites, Daniel Wu yeah, for Julian nice. Chung. Yeah. Nice to see Daniel Wu. Yeah, always good for you. And a lot of other familiar faces. We had like Wu Ma in there. We had a shaven head uh, Michael Wong. We got... Yeah. Yeah? Mm. He did think he looks a bit different, didn't he? Yeah, he did, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, quite a chilling character. Yeah, yes. well, the, the story was like really revolved around him because he'd yeah. been like paralysed from the neck down by an agent who, mm. you know, Anthony Wong is a guy that protects agents. That's his job. Mm. and um, they kind of come after him to try and find out where this agent is and who this agent is. Um, mm. I'm not giving away who it is. But um, yeah, that was, you know, a fun fun little aspect to the film. And you've got some... When I had this on DVD, I had a really nice DVD of this one. And it had like bookmarks, postcards, all sorts of things, a little key ring with it. And um, nice. yeah, I I did enjoy that edition. But this this is much better on the... Both of these films being Cine Asia, the you know really nicely presented on Blu-ray, plenty of extras on it, and um, yeah, I, I enjoy. I had a fun with this film. I thought, you know, spotting the faces that back then were fresh and new, and I wasn't really familiar with, like um, Josie Hell, who oh, yes. did some martial arts, and it's very good. Yeah, she was very good in those. Philip Ping mm -hmm. and Tiger mm -hmm. Chen, or yeah, you know, so. You have a high caliber of martial arts in this because they, they, it says that Yun Wu Ping was involved. He's not credited as a fight choreographer, right. but it says Yun Wu Ping was like a consultant or something. Right. And I, I feel that the fights, although the film's like fun and jovial, the fights are fantastic. Yeah, there's really fast paced fights mm. on there. And there was one in like um, the clinic that Anthony Wong works in mm -hmm. and the place gets pretty trashed. That, yeah. was, um, that was a really good fight. And then a bit later in the film, the children um, are out, aren't they? And the, the um, fighters are coming after them. And that was really, really gripping yes. fight scene outside, you know, on scaffolding or something, weren't they? Yeah. And falling off and oh, yeah. it was a fantastic fight that. Yes, absolutely. Some some good wire work mm. in there. Mm. And it's also a bit, you know, if I to say there's a bit of comical wire work with like um, Wu Ma and the scene where he's scaling and possible war. Oh, yes. And some of the fantasy yes. stuff in it. Yeah. So it's a bit, you know, it goes a bit outlandish, but that's all part of the fun and charm. Yeah, well, um, I really like the opening scene. Yeah. It's sort of like a fantasy scene mm -hmm. as Anthony Wong's telling the story to some school children and you see what he's telling them. And I just really thought that was really stylistic, you know, really mm -hmm. of its time. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah. And for me, uh, there was a scene where he crashes into a skeleton and uses um, oh, a couple yeah, of arm yeah. bones as nunchucks. <laughs> I just love that. Hilarious. That's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we had a lot of fun with this one, didn't we? What, what did you think of Anthony Wong in this one? I thought he was good, but I thought he only had so much to work with, yeah? It's like... Um, he, he always puts 110% into all mm -hmm. of his roles and I thought in this role I, I more admired his martial arts than I did his acting because he didn't he wasn't given a lot of no. acting to chomp no. down on but um, I did still enjoy him yeah. but 
like kind of halfway through, he's not in it so much, is he? And no, he no, I was going to say, kids. yeah, he wasn't in a, in quite a large portion of the film, mm. which was a shame, but that was the way the story had to go. Yes, absolutely. Part of the story. Um, but, you know, admirable job. Um, he did the best with what, what he was given. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's all you can ask of anyone. Yeah. So, who's going to go first? Who's going to give the scores for both these films? Do you want to go first or second? I'll go second, you can go first if you like. Okay, so for me, Hitman Final Fight, I really love that. That's going to get a 9 out of 10. That, to me, it's just a classic Anthony, classic martial arts, love it. And House of Fury, for me, I do enjoy it quite a bit. Um, but it's it's not on the same sort of calibre of film. It's a lot of fun. I'd recommend it to anybody, you know, just to watch for fun. Um, 7.5 out of 10. And for you, Shaz, what's your scores for these ones? So for It Man, The Final Fight, um, 8.5. Really enjoyed that one and I thought Anthony Wong was fantastic in it. Um, House of Fury, I still really enjoyed it, but not quite as much as the It Man film. So I'm giving that one 7. So that's not too bad overall. Mm -hmm. You know, I think we can say we can recommend both of those to people out there. And we, yeah, we both approve of Anthony in the martial art roles. Um, just having a quick look at these Blu-rays on the back. These are both Cine Asia Blu-rays, by the way. You've got special features. You've got um, trailer gallery, behind the scenes, making of interviews with Daniel Wu, Gillian Chung, Josie Ho, Michael Wong, Stephen Fung. So that's pretty loaded mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Picture sounds very good on these. And on Hitman Final Fight, we've got a making of cast and crews interviews and a trailer. And, you know, as always, very good picture with the Cine Asia and sound. Yeah. I think the subtitle might have been a little bit small on the It Man, if I remember rightly. We did struggle because we watched mm. it on Mum's TV and it's a little bit smaller. Mm. So that's just one thing to be aware of. But otherwise, you know, great, good purchases. You can pick them up nice and cheap now and we will leave you some purchase links in the description. Um, hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, hope we see you next time. So I guess that's us now, you think? Yeah. yeah, right. So remember, guys, be true and buy the blue.